Hi friends and welcome to my channel English Fluency Lab where I help you improve your English language skills. Friends in this video I'm going to talk to you about the difference between the three verbs let, allow or permit. Now many English language learners get confused with these three verbs and they don't know how to use them correctly. So let's dive into the video straight away. Now first of all let me begin this video by telling you that these three verbs all have the same meaning. The difference is only in their grammatical structure. Let's understand how to use let first. Now whenever you use let in a sentence you use it like this let plus name of the person plus thing plus verb. The verb has to be the base form of the verb which is the v1 without the word to. So let me repeat that you use let plus person or the thing plus the base form of the verb without the word to. Let's take a few examples. I don't let my children watch violent movies. Monica's father won't let her adopt a puppy because he's allergic to dogs. Our boss doesn't let us eat at our desks. We have to eat in the cafeteria. Oh my God, I wasn't paying attention while cooking and I let the food burn. Don't let the advertising expenses exceed 45,000. So friends, these are examples of the verb let, right? Let's now go move on and understand the meaning of the word allow and permit. Now the verbs allow and permit are more formal ways to say let. I already told you that, that let, allow and permit have the same meaning. However, with allow and permit, we use two plus verb. In let, I told you that we don't use the word to. In allow and permit, we use two plus the verb, right? Let's take a couple of examples. I don't allow my children to watch violent movies, right? You're using the word to and you're using the verb watch out here. Our boss doesn't permit us to eat at our desks, right? Here we are using the word permit. So that is a difference between let, allow and permit. In let, you don't use the, don't use the word to, but in allow and permit, you use to plus the verb form. Let's move forward. Permit, friends, is the most formal. Let is the least formal and allow is somewhere in the middle, right? With permit and allow, we can also say that something is or is or not permitted or allowed. For example, smoking is not allowed. Employees are allowed to take a one hour lunch break. Passengers are not permitted to use cell phones during takeoff. With a tourist visa, you are permitted to stay in the country for 16 days. So with allow and permit, with allow and permit you can also use the word permitted and allowed. And these are a few examples of those sentences. So friends, I hope the difference between let, allow and permit is clear. Now I have some homework for you. I would like you to make a sentence with these three words, let, allow and permit and put them in the comment box and I'll be happy to give you my feedback. So friends, if you have found value in this video, please like my video, please subscribe to my channel and uh, please do press the bell because I keep coming up with videos like this to help you improve your English language skills. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day.